Hello and welcome to an episode of Advanced GIS. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at GIS workflows and how to use Python programming and model builder to create reproducible workflows in ArcGIS Pro. First step in watershed delineation is going to be finding and filling sinks. Most DEM files contain some sinks, and a sink is just a cell for which all surrounding cells have a higher elevation. We can process this with the fill function. Essentially finding and filling any small imperfections in the data. It asks us for an input surface raster, an output raster, and a Z limit. I'm going to save my raster dem geo for the referencing later, and I'm going to be running my processes on the projected original raster data set. Let's see how we can do that in Python. My directory has my model builder. DEM file points to my Napa DEM dataset. I need to define an output file. Currently, it's Napa DEM Geo. I want my output file. This will be my fill name, will be Napa underscore fill. So my fill file. is going to be Napa underscore fill in my project folder. I'm going to save the output as Napa fill using the arcpy dot spatial analyst dot fill function. Notice that there are drop down option menus here that I can select the file. Napa.dem is here. I can click it. And the surface raster. Because I'm saving it as Napa underscore fill, I don't actually have to define the output file. So I just need the input file. And I just need to say, what is the Z limit? And I'm going to leave the Z limit as blank, which is optional, and click Run by hitting Enter. We see Napa fill add to the map. Very little difference in the actual layer itself from the original Napa dem, which makes sense. We're only filling small imperfections in the data set. We did not save to an output but we still have our Napa fill layer here and I can just save to my fill file. If we look in your folders, you'll see that Napa dem geo and now Napa fill have both been saved as raster data sets in grid format in your project folder.